Hi there, guys. Just showing a few creations. And uh, this is on the TBT server. And as you can see, we are running a Dire pack. If you look at the top of the screen, you can see it says Dire Wolf 20 pack. And uh, everything seems to be running smoothly, including a uh, our live map. Check this out. That's uh, well. That's just a full screen. Give it a sec to load. There we go. And as you can see, there's my house. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't map. Do not have red power included yet. Well, this is a pre release Alpha 1. I think there's an Alpha 2 out now. But, uh, I just haven't updated it. And so the din map appears to be working just fine. Let's test the chat. Hello. That is working as well. <clears throat> and uh, for the regular tip players, there's uh, two things that's nice to know. You would get a uh, what, remote controller to and shift right click. Channel uh, 100 is uh, to set time for morning. There we go. And uh, 101 is to enable or turn off rain. So you don't have to run all the way to start if you have this remote. It's the wireless remote, by the way. And uh, I finally got everything working yesterday, all the mods is working. It took a hell of a time. Uh, even though Feed the Beast should be working out of the pack, it really doesn't if you are using a existing map. Uh, but it's working now. Uh, we had some factorization loss, but uh, you know, if uh, some of the regular players say they're missing something, well, I'll just spawn some shit for them. Anyway, I've been playing with Red Power as well. As you can see, we set up a few counters here. And it's laggy as hell. Well, not really lagging, but the, the graphics is not really updating as it should. But uh, I've been working on a Red Power tree farm, unlike a uh, forest tree over there. You could also just set it up to a computer, but uh, it's been a really long time since I've been playing with a Red Power, so I really have to get my mindset again to how this works, because Red Power is really old school in terms of computer. And <clears throat> I should really add a block breaker to these, to the reseeder. So usually I would just wait until uh, the leaves has decayed before I started the planter. So.
And the reason they are floating out in the air, that's because when the leaves decay, uh, saplings or fruit will fall into the water. It's going to be picked up by this ender chest, green, green, red. And uh, I have two green, green, red. One of them is right here on the leaf seeder. So, uh, also going to pick up a lot of other items. But the saplings are distributed into the deployers down below through this sorting machine right here. Uh, the wood goes into the ender chest to black, 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 or dark gray times three. And we have that in here. That's the return chest. Uh, if I have something uh, I would like to melt or something, I would just uh, use one of these. You can see blue, blue, blue. It says grind and melt, that means it will first be put into a grinder, then be melted. Or oh, this one it will just be melted. And it should take the items out on its own. There we go. And that's way back here. As you can see, the machinery is running. Cobblestone is coming in from the top into the power furnace and we get smooth stone back. The smooth stone goes into the black 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 which means it will be outputted here. There we go. So my plan is I don't have to leave the crafting area to do things like melting and stuff. If I were to put something in the blue one I would, uh, it would be sucked out. So this, this gate is just detecting if there's any items in there and start the engine. Put it into the polarizer. Oops. And it would then be dropped over into the furnace. what's been going on and um, all our items worlds our alternate worlds have been deleted uh, our only world saved is the main world and the nether and the end the dimensions from mistcraft is deleted and have been regened and this is uh, the mining area, and just as we had before, just in a new world. Perfect timing, as you can see. Steve's card miner is coming up, and we can see how things work. Apparently he's driving below the track anyway. You can see it's out of detecting items in there. It's getting pulled into the blue chest, and the two sorters or sorting machines will sort out the items, as you can see in the pipes. And uh, basically, it's color coded, so if you need a blue item, you have to go and check on the blue pipes. Red items go to the red pipes, etc. And as you can see, it's quite fast. Ordinary items such as cobble, sand, dirt, flint is just going into the white pipe. We don't need it or want it. You can mine that yourself. Got some redstone there, it seems. Rubies. And as you can see, if you want something, say red, you just check this chest and you can see we got red stuff. Yellow stuff, black stuff. 
green stuff, blue stuff, white stuff, purple. <laughs> And uh, if you want, you can uh, go down the mine and do some manual mining if you want. Right, big. There's the card. He's mining away. a quick update on the server only thing I'm really missing in this uh, art collection is uh, logistics pipes logistic pipes uh, area down here I think I'm going to set up some sort of storage and sorting machine down here still undecided also need to work on my animal farm I got wheat and that's producing a lot of wheat I was using one of those uh, transparent diamond crystal chests but since uh, items now stack and stick together, oh, it's not so bad. But when in the chest, they were sticking all the way three blocks out or something. It was quite annoying <laughs> to look at them turning around. So. Thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, if any of you have problems, problems with your chests, well, all I can say is it's caused by forestry and the extra bees might destroy the chest and, well, you won't be able to log in the next 5-10 minutes, you have to wait until the items has... Um, despawned on the server before you can log in. That's really the only way to sort it. Alternatively, I would have to download the map from the server, then use MC Edit to uh, remove the items from the chest, and then re-upload the map. And that's not likely to. <laughs> well, thanks for watching.